Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Star Flames. In this video, we're going to talk about Pierce Morgan being sent a cease and desist for his Jaguar Wright interview. If you guys remember last week, I did a reaction video to Jaguar Wright being on Pierce Morgan. So basically what had happened was Jaguar Wright was invited on Pierce Morgan Uncensored Show. And when she was asked, you know, what are her thoughts about Jay-Z, Beyonce, and what's going on with Diddy, Jaguar Wright basically said that Jay-Z is just the same as Diddy, Jeffrey Epstein, and the list goes on. Pierce Morgan then said to her, well, Jay-Z and Beyonce is not there to defend themselves. And he basically cut that interview in a sense that he was, you know, rejecting Jaguar Wright's claim. Irrespective of Pierce Morgan um, publicly rejecting and saying that Jay-Z and Beyonce is not there to, to defend themselves, Pierce Morgan has been since then hit with a cease and desist from Jay-Z and Beyonce's legal team. Now, Pierce Morgan addressed his viewers on October 8th and he clarified the situation. He confirmed that yes, the cease and desist from Jay-Z was a means of silencing Jaguar Wright's bold allegations. He said that their lawyer contacted him to say the claims were completely false and have no basis. In fact, Morgan then stated that he had to agree to comply with their legal request to cut Jaguar Wright's portion of the interview where Wright alleged that Jay-Z and Beyonce was just as horrible as Diddy and, you know, other people who have been held accountable for similar actions from the past. No, he's saying that, you know, there are no legal limits unto us. Pierce Morgan then took the opportunity to apologize to the power couple Jay-Z and Beyonce. So I believe that they also demanded a public apology from Pierce Morgan. No, I believe that Pierce Morgan did the right thing because we know that even though Pierce Morgan himself have he has power, we know that Jay-Z and Beyonce together is known as a poor couple. Jay-Z has one of the best attorneys that money can buy. Now, if you guys remember last week, I did a video talking about Jay-Z's attorney representing New York Mayor Eric Adams. If you guys don't know, Jay-Z's attorney is Alex Sapiro. Sapiro has a reputation for handling cases involving high-profile celebrities and high-stakes legal battle. He represented some notable figures like Megan Thee Stallion and Elon Musk, and he has an excellent track record in getting those cases in his favor. So as such, we can say that Pierce Morgan did the right thing by just complying, even though you could tell that he's a bit puzzled by it, like, you know, it's not as though I supported this woman, and I even said, you guys were not here to defend yourselves. Now, since then, internet sleuths have believed that there is definitely something going on as it relates to Jay-Z. People believe that Jay-Z is now proving that he has something to hide, because what many people are saying is that they can actually see Jay-Z and Diddy were close pals for years. And anything that Diddy is normally involved in, Jay-Z is also a part of that. So their question is, how is it that Sean Diddy Combs has been arrested for racketeering and Jay-Z is not yet arrested as well? And now that Jay-Z has taken this action, you know, to control their image and likeness, you know, people believe that something is into something. Jay-Z is scared because he has something to hide. That is what critics believe. And also, if you guys remember, Foxy Brown came back on the scene. And since then, there have been numerous allegations about Foxy Brown and Jay-Z, one of which includes allegations of Jay-Z paying off Foxy Brown for over years to keep her silent her from not exposing any of his past wrongdoings. Now, it's going to be interesting to see how things works out for Jay-Z in the coming weeks. I'm not going to say months because I honestly believe that based on this action that was taken, something might be up that is not yet at our doorstep. And when I say, let me say ears, let me say ears, something is up that is not at our ears as yet. And I believe that thing has to do with Jay-Z and possible connections with 
did he? No, make no mistakes. I'm not saying that, you know, a celebrity protecting their image and their brand means that they're always into shady business. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that we have been hearing Jay-Z's name a lot in so many speculations. And at this point, I want to believe that at least 1% of it is half true. And as such, as such, we might be seeing more having to do with Jay-Z and legalities in the coming weeks. That's my belief. But if not, I digress. Let's see what happens. But this is all I have to share in this video with you guys because you guys know Jagger Wright is said to be scared for her life because if you remember, last week they spoke about Jay-Z allegedly having a hit, a 500k hit on Jagger Wright. And I said, I honestly don't believe he has a hit on her. And irrespective of the fact that he has sent Pierce Morgan a cease and desist, I honestly don't believe he has a 500k hit on Jaguar Wright's head. I said to you guys, yes, let me back up a bit because I did say this last week. I said, you know, when people are on YouTube talking stuff, YouTube is not known to be credible. People may look at a few channels to say, Okay, if someone like BJ investigates, say that they will take actions against her because she's a lawyer by profession. But if a regular degular YouTuber makes allegations and claims, that individual may not see any consequences against them. So last week I said, you know, we haven't seen Jay-Z taking any legal actions against Jaguar Wright. And that is because she has been saying what she has been saying on YouTube and people really don't take some contents on YouTube seriously. For the major part, people look at it as conspiracy theory. So as such, Jay-Z would not take any action then. But when she goes to what they consider to be professional press, professional media outlet, that's going to be a big no-no for them. I did say this last week. Not the exact words, but I did say this last week. So now we're seeing where this has came to pass. Jay-Z has taken actions and I, I'm not looking forward to him to take any actions, you know, at Jaguar Wright. She has been talking for so long, but I believe they just want to minimize the damage. Pierce Morgan is the first. They want to nip that in the butt so they don't want any other professional media outlets calling Jaguar Wright for an interview. So they're nipping things in the butt for an early stage to say to others, if you're thinking about doing this, this is, because this is what is going to happen and it may lead to something further. Okay? Now guys, it's your time to chime in. What are your thoughts? While you're at it, thumbs up, share, stay safe. See you guys later. Bye guys.